Okay class, so this is another topic in power plant engineering. So we have here chimney. Okay, so chimney. Chimney is a structure for venting hot flue gases or smoke from a boiler. So furnace or fireplace to the outside atmosphere. So this is where the product of combustion passes through. Okay? Chimneys are typically vertical. Okay? So to ensure that the gases flow smoothly, drawing into the air, combustion in what is known as the stack or chimney effect. Okay? So the space inside the chimney is called flow. Okay? So take note of the term class. Okay? So space inside a chimney is called a flue okay so in the u.s the term smokestack or stack is also used when referring to locomotive chimneys okay chimneys are told to increase the draw of air for combustion and to disperse pollutants into the flue gases over a greater area so as to reduce the pollutant concentration in compliance with regulatory or other limits Okay, so sometimes the uh, measurement of the chimney height is based on the highest uh, building uh, in the vicinity. Okay, so at least 5 meters taller than the highest or the tallest building okay, in the plant vicinity. Okay, so that is the basis. So drop... So, it's the small pressure difference which causes a flow of gas to take place. Okay? So, that is the difference in pressure between the uh, highest uh, at the top of the chimney and at the lower po uh, part of the chimney. So, natural drop is obtained by the use of chimney. And the drop thus produced is due to the density difference between the column of hot gas inside the chimney and the cold air outside. Okay? So that is the difference in density. Okay, so this is class the the basic illustration of the chimney. Okay, here is the the right portion of the illustration we have here, the great. Okay, so and then to the boiler, and then boiler to economizer, and then to main plume. So, this is now where the uh, product of combustion passes through and then towards the chimney. And then the flow gases will, of course, uh, goes out. Okay? So, here is now the equivalent column of the hot air. Column of the cold air or the height now of the chimney. Okay? So, another, we have here an illustration or a picture showing the chimney that releases the product of combustion you will notice that the product of combustion uh, in this picture is very clear so white color so meaning the dust uh, carried by the blue gases coming from the uh, chimney or coming from the furnace of course of the boiler will be uh, trap maybe in an el electrostatic precipitator or maybe in a scrubber or whatsoever okay so stuck effect so it's the movement of air into and out of building uh, chimney blue gas stacks or other containers and is driven by a specific force so such force of course due to a difference in indoor to outdoor air density so, resulting from temperature and moisture differences. So, the result is either a positive or a negative force. So, the greater the thermal difference and the height of the structure, the greater the force and thus the stock effect. Okay? So, the stock effect is also referred to as the chimney effect. And it helps drive natural ventilation and infiltration. Okay? So, we have here the formula for determining the density of air. So, this is very easy. So, from ideal gas 
Okay? So, the equation of state, PB is equals to MRT. Okay? So, for the air, so that is pressure of the air, volume of air, mass, the gas constant of air, and temperature of air, and then getting the density, since density is equals to mass over the volume, that is P over RA, TA. So, A represents the air. Okay? So, another is the density of flue gas. Okay? So, the density of flue gas, of course, you are going to use the parameter of the flue gas, of course. So, density of gas, DG is equals to pressure over R gas and temperature of the gas. Okay? So, take note that the determining the density of, dry, uh, of the air, rather, and the gas is very easy. Okay? So, we have here the drop head. Okay? So, the head of water. So, from hydrostatic pressure, this is very easy. Where P is equals to density multiplied by H. Okay, so where the pressure here now is converted into the height of uh, and the head of water. Okay, so is equals now to the density of the air minus density of the gas multiplied by the height. So where H now is the height of the chimney. So, volume, flow rate of the flue gas. So, again, from the ideal gas equation or the equation of state, PB is equals to MRT, where the B is replaced by the parameter or the designation Q. Okay? So, where MG is the mass of the flue gas. Okay? So, very easy. Another, we have here the theoretical velocity of flue gas or BT. So, theoretical, take note. So, this is theoretical is equal to the square root of 2GH supposed to be. So, that, but this is head water over the head gas. Okay, so we are going to change, of course, the height of the water to the height of the gas. So, where the actual velocity of the blue gas is equal to 30 to 50 percent of the theoretical velocity. Take note of that. The actual velocity is equal to 30 to 50 percent. Uh, 50 percent rather. So, take note class that in the design, you are supposed to be uh, using this assumption. Okay? So, maybe that is in the range of 30 to 50, maybe 40 percent is equal to the actual velocity. Okay? Another, we have the chimney diameter. So, very easy equation. So, Q is equals to area times the actual velocity. So, for continuity equation, okay? Where QG or B or the volume flow rate of the gas is equals to uh, pi d squared area multiplied by the velocity actual, okay? Or diameter now, determining the diameter of the chimney is 4 QG over pi divided by the actual velocity. Take note, that is the square root. Okay? So, we have here, class, an example. So, calculate the height of stock for a power plant having an ambient air of 1 bar and 22 degrees Celsius. Combustion gases has an average temperature of 125 degrees degrees Celsius and flows steadily at a rate of 20 metric ton per hour whose volumetric analysis of CO2 equals 20% oxygen is 4% nitrogen 76% assume drop of 3.5 millimeter of mercury take note class this is not in terms of millimeter of water but in terms of millimeter of mercury take note we are going to change this to water okay Solution class. Okay. So, getting now the molecular weight of the product of combustion. So, that is 44 for CO2 multiplied by 20% plus oxygen, 32, multiplied by 4%. Nitrogen multiplied by 76% is equals to 31.36. Take note class. This is now the molecular weight of the product of combustion. Okay. So, determining now the 
gas constant for the gas. So that is equals to R over M W. So take note, this is the universal gas constant. This is bar R plus. Okay, so that is eight point thirty one for kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin over thirty one point thirty six. So therefore, the gas constant now for the blue gas is point two six five kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So getting now the density of air that is P over R air temperature of air. So the the pressure now of the gas is one bar. So equivalent to one hundred kilopascal. So the density, ah, the gas constant for air is point two eight seven kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin, and the temperature two ninety five Kelvin. Okay, so that is equals to one point eighteen kilogram per cubic meter. Okay, so the gas now density is P over R gas T gas. Okay, so the the pressure now of the gas is atmospheric. Of course, that is. 101.325 okay so getting now or dividing it by the gas constant 0.65 uh 2.265 multiplied by 398 the temperature so the computed value now of the density of the gas is 0.96 kilogram per cubic meter okay determining now the height so that is height is equals to head of water divided by density of air minus density of the gas 0.0035 multiplied by the specific gravity of the mercury 13.6 multiplied by 1000 take note class we change the head in terms of mercury to head in terms of water or to head of water and then changing it to uh, meters and then the answer now is 216 point 36 meters. So take note, class. This is now the height of the chimney required. Okay. Thank you very much, class. So that ends my presentation.